Tis a new age for new beavers. Gone is the past where bridges were accessible only to those who tread the cracked dirt before it. The great bridge to nowhere guides us, where all who see it may trace its way. Does it lead us out of barren fields or into wet valleys, where we must look upon it from our beaver tracks? We see only its connection to the limitless sky. Did our ancestors toil upon that stretch? Did it lead them to the next life? Or simply signify the grand cascading of nature? We may know only on that day we cross it. The bridge knows. The bridge knows. All right, we've skipped forward in time. We time traveled. And I did do a few things during that time, so we're gonna run through them real quick. I blew this hole down some more, cause uh, I still wasn't sure that it wasn't gonna flood. So I, I, instead of taking chances, I just, I just said, you know, screw it, screw it, let's do it, let's go, let's, let's do the thing, and I did it, and it's done. So hopefully, it's got like a step thing to where it goes down and down more and more, it goes down, 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 down. So if it still floods, I, I give up. I just give up. I'm gonna stop playing. I'll close the channel down and it'll be over. I also blew this down one more level because then I don't know man I'm I don't know I don't know I don't, I don't even know anymore I just I don't I don't want to take chances I know I know in the last episode I said that it probably would work but I don't want probably I want definitely and it's still mostly a probably I know what I'm doing uh, I built this thing up and my original plan was like well the greenery still goes to about there so it still makes sense to plant the trees, right? Uh, <laughs> well, the greenery fell some more, so now there's only this little line. But we have a couple of days to go until the wet season, and I brought you guys back in here because we're actually going to blow out this whole edge here so that this becomes a functional farm, tree farm thing, forestry area. Also, we are stupidly low on water. We've had multiple very long droughts. And we just keep going down and down and down. Right now, we got 20,000 water left. We got a few days left. I mean, we our buffer our buffer's getting getting thin. Our buffer's getting thin, so I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, we can take... If we get another, like, 50-plus day drought, by the end of that one, we might not have much of a reserve, reserve left. So, uh, I don't know. The Lidos have already been off this whole time. And I actually turned this off, uh, so it's not refilling anymore. I'm still... During the wet season, I'm still going to refill it once. We're going to refill it once, but I'm no longer going to run the water dumps. And if if the plants die, they just die. Because right now, I, I don't want to waste that water. I want to I wanna just... I want to buffer up a little bit. Once our tanks are full again, we'll get this going. We have enough spatter dock and cattails in store to last out a season, I think. So it should be fine. All right. Now that it's nighttime, I'm going to pause, and we're going to destroy... Uh-oh. I did learn a trick. I did learn a trick. I finally figured out the difference. So, if you go down, and I click to about there, the platform's still going to get destroyed, right? But if I go lower than that, it doesn't. Whoa. So that's why things are getting confusing. Because you don't have to just be under it. You have to be a level under it. And then it won't get destroyed. See? It's all good. Uh, so we're going to destroy this road. It's going to suck for a bit, but... It doesn't matter, because it needs to happen. And I'm doing this before the wet season, because, I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's, it's pretty obvious. This thing's empty right now. <laughs> it's only, like, one level. So that's all we actually need. We only, we only really need to go down, like, two levels, and this should be fine. Uh, just in case, I might go all the way down, but I don't know. I guess while I'm at it, I might as well do this side, too. I'm assuming that all this can be reached. We did just cut off the entire forestry area. But that's why we waited till nighttime, so it'll be okay. And if you're worried about them planting all this, we actually don't have to worry about that because they can plant it from up top. Like if I click on that, you can see it doesn't say can't be planted. So it, I think it's fine. Unless that just is saying that because they're going to run from the sides. I mean, we'll find out on the second go. Nah, look, they, they're, they're planting from up top, so this is fine. Even though there's a fence there, they can plant in front of it. So this is, this is, this is good. We're good. It's as smooth as a gravy sandwich.
Yeah! I'm gonna dump a few pumps over here real quick while we're doing this so that we can pump the water out and then go all the way down. Because, uh, I don't want to waste the water, and if we can do it in time, then that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. If we can't, then I'll, I just won't go down all the way. So those pumps were way more uh, efficient than I thought, and we are done <laughs> a few days too early. <laughs> uh, but it'll be, oh, I didn't, okay, right, that, that's a thing. Um, luckily, the maples have a 15-day window till death, and we only have like three days to go until the wet season, so it's okay. The potatoes are probably going to die, but hopefully that's all. All right, now it's time to build this whole thing up, like, ASAP. All right, got the new wall planned out, and it's going to be going up. And after that, after that, it's montage time. Another wet season down, and we got a 48-day drought. Unfortunately, we ended up having a little more flooding yet again. And I actually took a break during the time lapse to fix it. Maybe. So I watched it for a minute while, uh, whatever. I mean, I just watched it during, during the time lapse. <laughs> uh, I took a little break. And I noticed that basically what's happening here and why it's overflowing is that this, this pool is filling up. And as it fills up, it's causing like tidal shifting forward and back, forward and back, like a like a wave pool basically. And when when the wave hits over here and it flows over, it hits there, creates a wave over here, and it ends up filling up almost to the top and pushing forward and forward and forward and forward. And it keeps sliding, and there's more water pushing forward than there is space here. And so it ends up getting a little bit too tall right around here and overflowing and flooding downward. Through clever camera trickery, I, uh, oh no, we had some flowers die. Aww. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I blew, I blew this up while, while in the middle of that. I, I took pauses as I was 
recording different scenes and 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 blew this up over here and that seemed to stop it i don't know we'll see <laughs> these sunflowers are not uh it's not gonna happen because because the tide pool the lido pool which is apparently pronounced lido is it pronounced lido someone mentioned that i don't know i don't know what the hell lido or lido is but whatever lido lido eh um that's not going to be full because the pumps are still off. So that's going to dry out, which in turn is going to end up killing these fellas. And that's too bad. I don't know. I got, I don't know. I don't know. So we got to, we, we got to replace them with something probably. And then these pumps are off too. Uh, we're going, this is about, we got, we got 10 days or so before this dries out and dies. And that's just going to be what it is. I, I don't want to, I'm not messing with it right now. I really, we need more water. We only have, we got 23,000 water plus the tank that's being drained. And I, I want a little bit of a buffer. We didn't, I mean, the drought is a shortish one. And I just, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess around. And then weirdly enough, I don't really know what to do next. Uh, cause we need, we need this to finish building and we don't have enough metal for it. I mean, they're, they're going, they're, they're pumping, they're, they're doing the thing, they're smelting, but I don't know, what are we going to do? So I can't actually start moving this stuff until this is done. So I almost feel like we should just skip time again, but I don't know. It feels like, feels like a waste because I could be doing something productive during that time, but I don't really know what to do, you know? But the main thing of no is, uh, check it out. Check it out. We got, we got, we got dueling, dueling timber farms over here. Yeah. Yeah. What is, uh, is that guy employed? Oh, it's not employed. Okay. We'll make him employed. Higher priority. We need that higher priority. We need this higher priority. I guess both of those, I guess we're running low on peoples. It is what it is, I guess. I, I got nothing to say. Uh, I did put in an, another breeding pod because I noticed our uh, population was slowly ticking downward. So we need another one. So we have nine now. Uh, I don't know. That's what it is. <laughs> but, but this works. We, we blew this away. We rebuilt it kind of like right in the nick of time. It was a little, a little, you know, a little close. But we made it. We made it. We did it. We did it. I did just notice something really funny. Uh, we don't have to worry about it right now because we still have two more platforms to build. But these two platforms can't be reached. Oh, no, that one can. Okay, so it's just this one. So we're actually going to have to employ the Moro system. Like that. Because <laughs> that's the only way over there. Otherwise, you'd have to build a road closer because they can't reach the construction area. They should really be able to build the platform from up top. Like from, from, from the edge of platform. Like if the edges are touching towards something, they should be able to build it. It shouldn't just be the center hole. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. I done goofed. I done goofed real bad. We blew this whole wall away. But because this goes to the bottom now, none of this is green. So our... I, uh, I killed our promenade, man. The water needs to touch the earth for it to be green up here. I'm an idiot. I could just destroy this block all the way down and put a platform in there. That would that would kind of fix it. I don't know. Well, while we're waiting for stuff to happen, I can at least do a promenade over here. Or something. I guess it's not really a promenade. I'm not sure what you call that. Is that a that's not a promenade. Something. Walkway? Whatever. I mean we can't do any of the th things that are metal, so we're <laughs> it's mostly just gonna be a path and some benches. <laughs> Uh, but that, but that's something. It's something. There we go. <laughs> At some point, that's gonna mirror this side and look real good. I was also thinking of, like, doing bridges across. That might look cool, like, going back and forth. Like that? Does that look, uh, this one kind of ruins that, huh? So that wouldn't work. Like that? It's kind of neat, isn't it? Sort of? I mean, we can't spend the metal right now, but it was just something I was thinking about. It's kind of cool. If we adjusted them a little bit, like if we move that one forward, then we could put this one over here. So it would be three. Two's fine, I think. I think that looks nice. 
I'm gonna leave it, but I'm gonna put a very low priority. Very low, very low. I'm gonna put... Actually, I can fix everything to very low. Yeah! That's gonna look real good. I really like that. I think that's cool. I, li I like the two bridges going back and forth. I could have done bridges on both sides, like little bridges connecting. But I think it looks kind of cool with the crisscross. I like the crisscross. What do you guys think? Do you think... Do you like the crisscross? Or would you... Do you think two individual... Well, two individual bridges would more work. Because they, they'd be different sizes anyway. If you think this looks nice, then uh, like the video. <laughs> We got a big gap over here of just nothing. I'm not really sure what to do there. Uh, like, I don't know. It could be food related. We could do like food storage maybe. I don't really know what fits in. Like thematically with what we got going on over here. You know? Uh, I don't know. If you guys have suggestions, I would accept them. <laughs> and I would think about them. And maybe. Maybe I'd do them. I did have one suggestion I kind of liked. And that was to get rid- well, not really to get rid of this, but the suggestion was to do kind of like a- like a sacred- sacred tree park somewhere. Kind of like we had in the last series, if you remember. Kind of like a mixed tree park area. And since we're building the other two tree farms, I was kind of thinking here. And maybe we're gonna do that. Uh, it's gonna be a minute before we can do that, but I can delete the forester, and then nothing else will be planted. And eventually this will all be cut down, and once it's cut down, we could figure something out. I should have just paused the forester because we're going to need the forester in order to replant all the trees for the tree park. That would have been smart. That would have been smart. All right, it's nighttime. All the beavers is gone. All the beavers gone bad. So we're going to do this. And we're going to delete just that block going all the way down. And hopefully... Oh, come on. Keep spreading, baby. Keep spreading. Keep going. Keep oh, yeah. Yeah. Promenade. 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 <laughs> uh, okay, that worked. Good. <laughs> it's actually... That reaches further than it did before. So, great success. And we gotta plug that baby up. And just in case you guys were all excited, I know some of you were like, ooh... Ooh, he's going to forget to mark all the trees. That's going to be a lot of drinks. Well, <laughs> you can thank Jack Murphy for reminding me to mark everything. Because I did not remember. But it is now and was. And so no drink for you. All right. Well, at the least we can start figuring out the problem that I think. At least to some degree. I mean, it's going to take a while, but we're going to empty out these guys. Uh, and I'm going to just place a big warehouse somewhere. Going to just stick it back here. Because why? I don't know. Got to go somewhere. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so they're going to build that. We're going to get all the explosives in there. And then we can start working on maybe something with the promenade. I don't know. All right, guys. You can pour, pour one out. Pour one out for the homies. The homies in the farmhouse and stuff. Because this is... This is this is a wrap. <laughs> At least until uh, until this is over, until this drought's over, this uh, this is dead. So we're just we're we're running on battery power. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. I didn't realize this whole thing was that dependent on the water farm. I thought. I mean, I guess that is kind of far away, huh? Well, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that one bit. Still got 36 days to go, and these trees are going to be dead in 12 and 8. And then we'd have to replant them and do, like, a whole thing. Ugh. Alright, screw it. Turn the farm back on. Farm is back in business. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened, but the explosives storage somehow teleported over here. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to put it in the other location because it if we're gonna build something there it's just we're just gonna have to move it So I put it here. All right, these guys are empty. So at the very least we can get rid of them And I was actually just thinking so well, I guess that doesn't really work But I was thinking of instead of doing like a promenade area here What if we just did like a like a little forest area because we have we have the walkways up here for them to like chill and sit at What if this whole front area is just one little like mixed forest situation 
maybe even some sunflowers or something like just like a you know like a like a thing like a i don't know i don't know what to call it i'm sure british people got like a whole term for it but like you know you know how like some fancy houses have like a garden thing in front so that's what i'm thinking <laughs> i don't know i don't know all right so i kind of had a thought over here since since this is kind of out of the way and it's like like what do we do there i was and 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 i've been thinking about needing an area for like a nursery basically to put all our tanks into maybe that works over here because so i'm gonna pause and try and figure it out because basically i'm thinking like if we gate it off because you would want it gated right because it's like pretty important <laughs> and secure it needs to be like a super super location you know super super secure and this is pretty like out of the way and like you know like i don't know <laughs> so it's kind of what i was thinking we could even like elevate it a bit and then put the gates on top. Like, does that work? I mean, that, that makes it seem pretty important and it is, right? And then we could even put the storage warehouse up here that would hold all the blueberries. And then... Something like that? I mean, that looks pretty, uh something I don't, I don't know i don't know what is it, it looks like something yeah, i did i did a double gate there's a gate here and then there's a gate here and they got you got beaver statues watching they're, they're keeping an eye on things i mean i think that looks kind of cool i think i'm gonna let them build it and see how we feel it feels pretty nice honestly it's like out of the way it's near a bunch of the blueberries, so the blueberries can go over here. I mean, I know there's blueberries on the other side, but most of the blueberries are on this side. And it's, like, it's back here, so peop everyone up here can keep an eye on it, like, on the breeding tanks, like, while they're sleeping or eating or whatever, you know? It's, like, it's like we look down, just check it out, make sure everything's okay. I don't know. Kind of works. Right? No? I don't know. All right, well, the promenade's not going to work the way we want it to. Because the water level just went down one. So below the highest level. And that's where we're at right now. So when it goes down one more, it's probably going to drop down to like there. And that there's actually nothing to do about. So the only guaranteed part that can have growth is right, right in this area in the front. These thumbs have been bugging me. So we're going to do that. <laughs> and we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do that. Voila! Magic. Ooh, look at that shadow. Ooh. Ooh, that's our that's our bridge statue and bridge. Come back. Come back. No. No. <laughs> that looked cool. You know, while we're passively trying to fix things, I'm gonna go like that. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna drop this down. Because it doesn't, there's no reason not to. You know? Like, I don't want to take chances of this overflowing again. That's basically it. Like, I'm just, I'm not about that. <laughs> there's just, it keeps wasting water. Like, we'll doing, well, actually, we can go all the way. I'm gonna go all the way like this. I'm gonna do this whole side. Alright, so we're gonna blow that. There's not a reason that, that's not gonna ha that's not gonna do anything. Like, to anything else. It's just, like, not a big deal at all. So we're fine. All right. We got the nursery up. What do we think? Mm, I, I don't know. I think, I mean, it's definitely better than what we had, which was nothing. So I kind of think it's cool. Right? No? <laughs> I am so decisive. I think it's kind of cool. And the and the blueberry thing makes sense for the warehouse to be here. I'm going to let them I'm going to let them uh, activate once and then then get rid of the other ones. I decided I don't want to wait around for these anymore. I I'd rather just wait for the platforms. I'm tired of looking at this not being built. <laughs> so, whatever. That this platform just got built anyway, so it's we only we got the 3 to go. This won't, this won't kill it to do that now. 
Hey, we're all dry. Day 32. So we did it in a little bit over 30 day, 20 days. Did a little bit over 20 days. And I'm actually very happy about that because it means we're just getting more and more efficient. We're not even at 200 population right now. So this is great. Uh, also, also, I set it to 18 hours a day, work day, during, while they're, while they're pumping. And now I'm going to set it back down to 16. And we're at 31,000 water right now with 20, 24 days to go. So, uh, I don't know. Are we, I'm not, I don't even know. Are we net positive? I don't know what's happening. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ooh, look at our crisscross applesauce bridges. I like it. We got the, the, the walkway over here. We got the walkway over here. It is looking real good. Now we just gotta figure out what to do for the promenade. And honestly, like, I need, I need ideas, I guess. I mean, I could, I'll probably figure it out. But, I can really use some help. <laughs> so I'd love it if you guys gave me something on what we could do. The only, the only, the only thing that really needs to be a thing is the road in the middle. The road in the middle has to be there because that's the most direct path. So that really kind of limits what we can do here. But everything else is up for business. So, I don't know. Holla at your boy. It's, it's me. Hm. But aside from that, I love you guys. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll catch you guys next time.